Two huge storms will be impacting the United States, one of which will be today, and then the next one will be both Saturday and Sunday, where we are going to see some significant severe weather and potentially even a couple of severe weather outbreaks. The main concern over the next few days will be damaging winds, large to very large hail, and the potential for several tornadoes. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down everything that you need to know about the next three days when it comes to severe weather, in addition to the potential for a significant severe weather outbreak as we go into Sunday. But we're going to first begin with what's happening across the United States for today, which is actually quite a large area. We have a large slight risk for severe weather that goes anywhere from the Midwest all the way back down into Texas. It is a big area today where we are going to have the potential for some damaging winds, large to very large hail, and the potential for a few tornadoes. The marginal threat goes all the way back over to the East Coast and also stretches down into Texas. Overall, just ordinary springtime thunderstorms would be all we're going to see back over in the Carolinas. But the big biggest concern is most likely going to be in the Midwest and as well as back into the Southern Plains and perhaps even into the Ozarks area where we do have a significant hail risk for today. Notice this area that is hatched that represents a potential for hail that will exceed the two inches in diameter and we could even see some hailstones that produce hail as high as the size of an apple. So make sure that you're protecting your vehicle today and protecting any sort of items that could be damaged from hail. Now overall the wind concern for today it's not significant but there is an area of of scatter damaging winds which will be possible this morning and even into the afternoon hours we are already dealing with some showers and thunderstorms in the midwest and the main concern there will be some damaging winds back down in the southern plains and even back into the mississippi valley we'll also have a chance for some scatter damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour now the tornado risk is going to be a bit more elevated back over in the midwest and that'll primarily be during the early to mid afternoon hours we actually might go live for this today so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel other than that we're going to be having a very low tornado tornado risk which goes anywhere from texas back into the mississippi valley and also back into the midwest which that green area does represent just overall a low risk for tornadoes uh, not zero but i don't expect anything too crazy and probably not as big as that tornado that we saw yesterday in southwestern oklahoma if you're watching that live stream that was a massive tornado i don't think we're going to see anything like that today again knock on wood it's been a really crazy season so far when it comes to severe weather now as we go into saturday there's more than likely going to be some level of a severe weather outbreak in the central and southern plains the question remains really will there be a lot of storm activity will there be a cap in place will the initiator be pretty quick moving will we get a lot of thunderstorms a lot of questions right now about tomorrow but what we do know is that there's an increased confidence for significant severe weather especially in the orange shaded area in northern oklahoma and into eastern and southern kansas and as well as western missouri where there will be a potential for very high winds as well as the potential for very large hail and even maybe a few strong tornadoes and then also we do have a slight risk outside of that, which goes into North Texas and as well as into Southern Nebraska, where there will also be a chance for some severe weather and the same threats will also apply to those areas. The wind threat is primarily in Eastern Kansas and Western Missouri, where significant damaging winds upwards of 80 miles per hour will be possible at times. The large hail concern is primarily gonna be out of those initial discrete and semi-discrete storms that fire off right over here along the dry line in Western Oklahoma and as well as back into Central Kansas, where we could see some hail as high as the size of four inches in diameter with any mature supercells. There is a small tornado hatched area for tomorrow as well. This is where we could see a couple or maybe even a few strong tornadoes. That'll be in western Oklahoma and into southern Kansas. So make sure that you have a tornado action plan in place just in case you do end up seeing tornadoes in this area tomorrow. Now before we go into the timing and as well as the potential for significant severe weather on Sunday, I do want to talk more about the sponsor of today's video. Today's sponsor is Factor Meals, the best meals that you can get delivered right to your doorstep. Factor Meals are all fresh and never frozen. Factor Meals has allowed me to bring you severe weather coverage for longer periods of time because Factor cuts down on grocery trips and cooking. These meals work great for me because they keep kitchen time to a minimum. I mean, look at this creamy chicken parmesan meal. It was a delicious meal. Factor Meals are ready in two minutes with no shopping, prepping, cooking, or cleaning up even required. With 35 different meals and more than 60 add-ons to choose from every week, you will always have new flavors to explore. Head to Factor75.com or click the link below to use code MV50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. That is code MV50 at Factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month of orders or click the link at the top of the description. Thank you so much to Factor Meals for 
sponsoring today's forecast. And let's get right back into the weather as it is going to be a very active next 24 to 48 hours. Notice this large scale trough that we're going to be dealing with today. That's what's going to spawn the thunderstorm activity anywhere from the southern plains back into the Midwest. As we go into Saturday into Sunday, we are going to be dealing with a completely different storm. This one's going to eject right over the Rocky Mountains and we should be able to get a good mix of cold and warm air leading to the potential for some significant severe weather in the Ohio Valley where it does look like we are going to be dealing with a severe weather outbreak with all hazards being possible. We'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a minute, but I do want to talk more about what's happening today and as well as tomorrow. Notice the low level jet for today in the Midwest will be intensifying back over in Wisconsin, Illinois, and Iowa, and we should get a localized area for a tornado risk in southern Wisconsin during the afternoon today, which is hence why there is a 5% tornado risk there. The low level jet will just increase just a hair, and it will also be strong enough back over in parts of the Mississippi Valley and even into the southern plains where we could end up seeing maybe an isolated tornado or two. I do think one of the problems though will be is that these storms that are further down to the south are just going to be so far away from the localized low pressure system up here in the Midwest, and I think the severe weather threat when it comes to tornadoes will be on the lower side of things. Here's the timing for today in the Midwest. We'll be dealing with a line of storms this morning. That'll still produce some damaging winds, hail, and maybe even a couple of tornadoes. By the time we get after lunchtime, we'll have a new area of storms developing behind that, and this is where we'll be watching for that localized tornado risk between about 12 and 3 o'clock, and maybe even a little bit after that. Uh, any of these storms, again, will have the potential for significant damaging winds and the potential for an isolated tornado or two, and really any storms in here will have a potential for a tornado, but that's where the greatest localized area will be, will be there in southern Wisconsin. And by the time we get closer to 7, 8, 9 o'clock tonight, the majority of these storms are weakening out. I do think Michigan overall will have weaker storms, and a lot of the reason why is because a cold body of water will essentially kind of stabilize the atmosphere just a little bit and should prevent most of these storms from being too significant in uh, Michigan, but we might end up seeing maybe just an isolated wind event or two and maybe some isolated large hail. And then further down to the south across the Ohio Valley, we will be dealing with some storms during the morning. The majority of these will just be hail producers, just elevated storms in nature. By the afternoon, we'll be dealing with a few more of these storms kind of over in Missouri and maybe even a few back over here in Arkansas that'll produce some large hail, damaging winds, maybe an isolated tornado or two. And majority of these storms will try to fire off later into the afternoon, so around like 4 or 5 o'clock, right across central, southern, and eastern Missouri near St. Louis. Any of these storms will be capable of large hail, damaging winds. And again, maybe an isolated tornado. And by the overnight hours, things are definitely clearing out across most of the region. Now, I do think the Southern Plains will have an interesting day today. Right around 4, 5, 6 o'clock, we'll have an explosion of thunderstorms right along this boundary about, from about North Texas back into parts of Southern Missouri. And this is where our most significant hail threat is going to reside today. So we'll have some significant hailstorms here, upwards of 2 to 2.5 inches in diameter for hail as possible. Maximum hailstone size I'm forecasting today is apple-sized hail. And eventually, as we go into the overnight hours, those storms kind of collapse, maybe a small MCS developing, uh, but overall it'll be a very minimal event and it should be mostly just damaging winds in southern Arkansas before they fizzle out in northern parts of Louisiana. Now as we go into Saturday, we will be watching the central plains for severe weather. This does seem a little bit conditional in my opinion for this particular event, but we'll be watching for discrete cells to fire off really right around the mid to late afternoon into the evening hours in both Oklahoma and as well as Kansas. Now we've had a couple of events here in the past that haven't really panned out very well when we have a low pressure system coming over the Rocky Mountains, but all things are there for there to be significant severe weather, which is why this is going to be a bit of a concerning day if storms are able to get going. I do think we're going to have some level of a complex of storms developing during the late evening into the overnight hours. It'll produce some damaging winds, large hail, and perhaps even maybe a, a few tornadoes, but I think overall the majority of the threat here for Saturday is going to be trying, trying to come out of any discrete supercells, and a lot of that, again, would have to come during the late afternoon, and if so, if storms do fire off again we'll be dealing with some significant severe weather if no storms fire off we'll be dealing with some quieter weather at least for this area but it's a very kind of 50 50 sort of situation right now stay tuned make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll keep you posted with the latest on this particular situation Now, I did say I was going to talk a bit about the event as we go into Sunday. We'll talk more about this in detail in tomorrow's video forecast, but I, I at least want to give you a little bit of an idea of what's going to be happening on Sunday. We kind of went through it on the timing, but I kind of want to give you a little bit of an idea of the dynamics here for Sunday. Notice this as we go into Sunday. We're going to have this large low pressure system moving right across the Midwest. This is the mid-level winds. We are going to have a strong westerly and southwesterly flow. Storms usually like to develop kind of in this little area here, so we'll be watching for the most significant threat of severe weather, more than likely 
likely to be in areas like the Midwest, and that would primarily be in the lower Midwest and back into the Ohio Valley. And as we go into the late afternoon and evening, we are going to get an intensification in the mid-levels with stronger winds. And what that means is that there should be very strong winds really up and down the atmosphere for there to be the potential for some tornadoes, and there could even be a couple of strong ones. So we're going to be watching this very closely. I do think we are going to be looking at a severe weather outbreak on Sunday. I think the main concern will be damaging winds, but there will be some large hail and also some tornadoes. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and we'll have a full detailed breakdown on this particular day in tomorrow's forecast.